Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Anker LC90 flashlight. This is a Cree LED flashlight that features 900 lumens. It's waterproof and it's only $24.99 on Amazon. So check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. It comes in a nice cardboard box. I like that because you can recycle it. Looks like on top here, we have a welcome guide, probably a little bit of an owner's manual as well. The marketing material. Then we have what looks like a little strap for the flashlight. Then we have the flashlight right here. Let's go ahead and take that out, set it aside. Right here we have a box that contains the battery, and this is rechargeable via micro USB. And then we have a charging cable, which is USB to micro USB. Really, really like that this flashlight can be charged via micro USB. It means it's compatible with the cables I already have, and I can easily charge it when I'm on the go, which is what I'm gonna use this for when I'm camping and hiking, things like that. And that's all that's in the box. All right, so taking a closer look at the LC90 flashlight from Anchor here, you can see it does have the name Boulder on the side of it. So I guess this is the Boulder LC90. The entire flashlight is made out of a very sturdy feeling metal. And as you can see, you do have these grooves that make great grips on the body of the flashlight as well as the lens area. So you get a really good grip no matter where you grab this. One thing to note, the only areas that are not metal are going to be the lens, which is either a glass or plastic. And then you have the button back here, which turns it on and changes the modes. It's made out of a rubber material that feels really good. It also has some grips on it as well. It just feels like a very thick rubber, really good material feeling. So this flashlight is one LED, it is a Cree LED, and you can change the beam of this LED by pulling out the lens of the flashlight. So as you can see, it goes in and out. And one thing I do like is there are grips under where you pull it out, so you're always gonna have a good grip even if the lens is pulled out. But let me show you real quick, I'll turn on the flashlight. And right off the bat, you can see how bright it is. This is a very, very bright flashlight. All right, so if I pull the lens out, as you can see, the beam gets much tighter. So if I was trying to look at something that's deep into the woods, I could easily pull this out and be able to see, hey, is that an animal or a person, whatever. And I could pull it back and get a wider view. I really like that this flashlight does that with such a powerful beam of 900 lumens. To be able to focus it on something like that is really cool. One thing with the front, I really like the way this is designed right here. I'm not a flashlight expert, so I don't know exactly the benefit of that. But what I do like is that it adds a difference in material material here so I could use this as almost a tool or a weapon in a survival situation. But also if you place the flashlight down and just turn it on, you do get the beams coming out of the side which I do think would be kind of a cool little camping light. When you're camping it can be very dark and even a little bit of light can be very bright so I think this would do a great job at a campsite if you needed to use it. So going towards the back here, as you can see it does have a little hole and that's for this strap so you can wear it around your wrist or tie it to something. It's pretty cool and I like how that's all made of metal so no worries that that's going to break and then back to the button. Like I said, this is all made out of metal. I weighed it with the battery in there and it was eight ounces. So a half of a pound is not bad for a flashlight. It's completely made out of metal and is very sturdy. The length of this is 6.25 inches. So it's gonna be pretty long, but this is also a very bright flashlight. So while I think maybe this isn't like a complete pocket flashlight, it's very useful and could be easily stored in a backpack, purse, anything like that. And one of the big benefits of this flashlight is it's rechargeable via micro USB. So you don't have to worry about replacing the batteries. You just need to recharge it. And the best thing about that is you can recharge it with your car charger, a power bank, anything like that. So as you can see, you remove the back cap and that reveals this nice rubber strap that keeps it in place. And then also the charging port right here. So this little circle above the charging port is an indicator light. When it's charging, it shows red. And when it's fully charged, it turns to green. I love that because you know exactly when you can remove this device from the charger and it's ready to go for what they say is six hours on the highest setting which to me is that's good enough to get you through a night if you needed to so I like it we unscrew this right here and it reveals the battery which I did put in there this is a 3350 milliamp hour battery with a brand of Anchor. Anchor's a really good company. I, I really like them. They seem to do everything a step above and they have really high quality products. So I'll put this back in, tighten it down, and then we'll show you some of the light settings. So like a lot of Cree flashlights out there, this has some settings on it depending on how you press the button. It does have five different modes. So you have three brightness settings, then you have a strobe and also an SOS.
OS. I'll go through the settings real quick. You won't really be able to tell a difference in the light brightness modes with the camera, but I can tell you there is a big difference with your eye. You can definitely tell there's a difference, and I'm sure at night you can really see it. So to turn on the flashlight, you can either press it all the way down until you hear that little snap and the flashlight stays on, but if you were just having it on for what they call momentary operation mode, you would just barely tap the flashlight till it turns on. You never hear the switch actually go, and then you can let go and it turns off. So keep that in mind, but really all you need to do to access the different modes is just turn the flashlight on or off within two seconds. So let's go through the modes here. So as you can see, I'll turn it on, and this is the brightest setting. Now to get to the medium setting, we would simply turn it on and off very quickly. So as you can see, it's a little le less bright, and then we'll go to the low, even less bright. I really think that it does a good job of making this actually a low light setting. It's much different than the bright setting. And then we can get into the strobe right now. And that, it, this strobe is crazy. If you were using this on the side of the road or something, no one is going to miss it. If you're looking at a helicopter, they're going to find you. And then we have SOS, which works very well and is also very bright. And you got to think with this thing having six hours on the brightest setting, if you had it on SOS, you'd probably get, you know, 12 hours, something like that. So it would go through the night. So those are the settings. As you can see, that's a really added benefit of this flashlight. On top of that, this flashlight is also waterproof. It is IP65. And really what that means is that it can be hit with a jet of water and not just a splash or some rain. This could be sprayed with a jet of water and it would survive. It's not recommended to submerge this because it's not rated for that but you could definitely have this in a storm, you could have this on a boat with you, you wouldn't have to worry about anything like that. So that was the Anchor Boulder LC90 flashlight. If you have any questions about this flashlight, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.